So I received a phone call from 800-432-1000. That number is associated with Bank of America, 800-432-1000. I answered the phone. The lady said, hi, my name is Amber. I'm calling from Bank of America about fraudulent activity on your account. I said, okay, hi, Amber. Amber said, this is a in, a, in regards to account, blah, 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 with dead, link to debit card, blah, blah, blah. She had all of my information. She said, I'm gonna send you a code to verify your identity via text message. I get a text message code that comes to my phone from Bank of America, from a t like I have a previous chain. You know, if you call your bank and they need to verify a code or whatever, it came in a chain that I already had messages in from Bank of America. I give her the code. She says, okay, one of the things on your account is a $435 purchase at Whole Foods in San Diego, California. Are you traveling? I said, no, I'm not traveling. So when she said that, I thought to look at my mobile app and see if anything was on my app. I said, well, this isn't showing up in my app. She says it wouldn't show up because it's fraudulent. This call happened at 6.18 p.m. When she said that, I thought to hang up the phone and call Bank of America back myself. I called Bank of America. I asked to speak to the fraud department. I said, hi, this is my name. Somebody just called me from the fraud department named Amber Lewis, and this is what she said. Bank of America had no record of anybody speaking to me from the fraud department. By 621, 621, I had I'm on the phone with Bank of America. This lady called me at 618. By 621, I received two emails. First email saying your online ID has been looked up. Second email saying your online ID password has been changed. Within three minutes, whoever that was was able to change my to look up my online ID and change my password so I could not access my account. So now the fraud department that I'm talking to has to transfer me to another immediate department that can access and freeze all of my accounts. So when I'm speaking to them, she said, hey, this is happening. It doesn't look like any transactions have happened, but since they've already had access to your account and logged in via your online ID, that means that they have your checking account numbers and that means they have your account and your routing numbers. So I now have to change all of my bank accounts that I have with Bank of America. I have to change my bank accounts, get new bank accounts. Luckily, I was actually speaking the second time to the actual fraud department. They freezed all of my accounts and they put a massive hold on my account so that no other transactions could be made from my bank account. So if you get a phone call from somebody that says that they are calling from your bank and they ask you to verify any number via a text message, any number or verification code via email, do not verify it. You immediately hang up and you immediately call your banking account, like call your banking center back and ask to speak to the fraud department and verify that you that somebody just called you. The lady that I spoke to from the Bank of America fraud department says they never call and ask you to verify information. You would only get an authentication code or a code to let you like verify your account if you call the bank, not if the bank calls you. Again, this phone call came from 800-432-1000. Anybody that is a Bank of America customer knows that on the back of your card, the number on the back of the card says 1-800-432-1000. So some way, somehow, there is a company that is able to call you from a number that looks like Bank of America. They are sending you text messages that look like it comes from Bank of America, while which gives them access to your account. Mind you, I didn't tell this lady anything. 
I didn't say any of my account information. I didn't give her my social security number. I didn't give her my debit card number. I gave her an authentication code that she sent to my phone via text message. That's all I gave her. And that phone, that code that I gave her came from Bank of America. It said it was Bank of America. So again, if you get a phone call and it's from your banking, they say somebody that says they're from your bank, somebody that says they're from your credit card, and they ask you to verify information, you ask who you're speaking to, say, may I ask who I'm speaking to, get their first and last name, you hang up, and then you call your bank back yourself. So as of right now, I have no access to any of my well, I, so because of that, while I was on the phone with Bank of America, they had to change my online ID and give me a new password. So I now have a new online ID. I now have a new password, but I don't have any money because they had to put a big negative balance on my account to ensure that no other withdrawals would hit my bank account.